Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 11. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a multi page document. We'll go about how to organize that multi page document. And we'll also go over how to create a new page versus duplicating the page. And lastly, we'll also briefly cover the index page and why it's important that you do not change the name of the index page and we'll cover that as well. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, you're going to go to the right of your screen and look for a tab called Page and Layer Gallery. And if you don't see that over there, you know, unlike you can see it, you can see it on my screen because I already have it enabled, but if you don't see it there, go to Utilities in your standard menu bar, left click on that. Once you click Utilities, go to the first option Galleries. And you'll see a menu that pops out and it gives you a few different options. The one that you want to make sure is checked is the page and layer gallery. And alternatively, you could hit the F10 key if you wanted to go to it by shortcut without going to this menu. But make sure that it has this check box, this check box next to it. And once you have that turned on, you should have the page and layer gallery on the right hand side. If not, it can alternatively be attached to the left hand side depending on how you have the program set up. So let's go ahead and place our cursor over the page and layer gallery and I'll show you that one more time. Place your cursor over it and once you hover over it, it'll bring out the, the page and layer options for your gallery. And the first page you'll see is the index page and this is the page I was talking about do not change the name of it because the index page is what the web browsers recognize as your home page. So never change that. If you change that then the web browser will be confused about what is your home page and it could cause all kind of issues with your website and I'll show you what happens if I try to change the name of this so place your cursor over the index text left click it once and you know let go don't hold it just left click it once and you'll see that it opens it up where I can change the name and let's just you know put whatever random letters hit enter then you'll see this prompt that comes up and it says it is usually best to call the main page of your website index because most web servers expect to find index.htm as the home page of the site. Are you sure you want to rename the page? I can almost pretty much guarantee you 100% of the time you do not want to rename. So hit the don't rename tab and left click that and don't change it. And let's go back to the page and layer gallery by placing our cursor over it and leave that as index. So just remember never change the index name because it's important for your home page. Next thing I'm going to uh, talk about is that any page that you have selected it has a blue rectangle behind it. You'll see that this index page has a blue rectangle behind it because that's the page that we have selected. So let's go ahead and create a new page by clicking the new page option up here and it, you see that it creates another page and now the blue rectangle is behind that second page and you'll see some other options here too mouse off, mouse off and mouse over but we're not going to worry about that so let's click this little left arrow up here and this is to collapse the page so that you can't see the layers because we're not going to deal with layers right now and let's left click on the index thumbnail so that it's highlighted and so that we're selecting the first page of the, the document we're working in and then let's go to the quick shape tool which you should know how to use and just draw any shape and if you don't know how to use this you want you're going to want to go to one of the previous tutorials that covers quick shapes and draw a few shapes and then go to your color editor and you should know that as well since it's been covered in previous tutorials and let's just give these squares a few different colors and once you do that let's go back to the page and layer gallery and you'll see now that the thumbnail reflects the changes that we made in our document so this thumbnail is giving you a preview of what's here in the main document so let's go back to page and layer gallery and now let's click on page 2 and you'll know again that it's highlighted because it's a blue rectangle and you'll notice that the workspace is empty because this page we haven't added any designs to it but if we go back to page 1 in a page and layer gallery you'll see that hey it still has the squares that we drew with the same colors so let's go ahead and make some designs on page 2 by going to page layer gallery and left clicking on page 2 once you've done that go ahead and draw a few squares we'll keep them all the same color this time and if you go back to page and layer gallery you'll see that oh now it has all four of those rectangles that we just drew of the same color 
So that's how you create a new page. But let's say that you wanted to duplicate a page. And before I actually show you that, let me show you one other thing. If you if you're annoyed with this menu, you know, flying in and flying out, and you know you're going to be working with it a lot, then hover over page and layer gallery. And then in the upper right hand corner, you'll see like a thumbtack that says auto hide. Where we're going to left click that once. And what that does is it locks it in position. So now if you move your cursor off of that menu, it stays in place. So if you're more comfortable with that, you can lock this menu so that it doesn't move, which I find beneficial sometimes depending on um, what I'm working on within a, a website document in Xara. So let's go ahead and now we can close this and collapse it because again, we don't need to show the layers because we're not going to be dealing with layers in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and, and left click on the first page here and again collapse the the layers because we don't need to see that and let's go ahead and hit the duplicate button and let's left click on that once you left click on that you'll see that it makes an exact replica of the first page and sometimes this is beneficial maybe there's a lot of content that should be on another page that you have on the on a, a different page so if this previous page which is the index page maybe a lot of that content is relevant to your next page so you make a duplicate of it or maybe you've got some shapes that you want to use from a previous page that apply to another page you may want to duplicate I tend not to duplicate often because there's some other features that help me kind of get around it and we'll cover that in another tutorial and that most likely it would be the repeating uh, ability with an desire to repeat certain objects and I tend to use that more so than just duplicating a page but just know if you hit that duplicate button it's going to make an exact copy of the page that you have selected and let's name this maybe products you know products for ice cream you know maybe we'll name it that and if you want to maybe maybe you duplicate this page but you don't want it to be in the second position maybe you want to rearrange your document well the way that you would do that is you just left click on one of these thumbnails here and drag downward until you see an arrow. If you're not far enough down, you'll see a, a do not enter kind of sign or symbol. But if you drag far enough, you'll eventually see an arrow pointing pointing like on a curvature kind of angle. And that's when you'll release your left click mouse button. And then it places that in the third position of your document. And that's how you reorganize your document. So let's say I wanted to, I've accidentally moved it down. Just left click on this thumbnail. You'll see the the do not enter sign would drag upward keep going until you see that the arrow changes and no longer see the do not enter sign and if you let go of your left click mouse button after dragging up you'll see that it now places it back in the second position and this is very helpful if you got a really large document that you want to keep in order another thing that you could do uh, to help you with organizing your document is just making sure that you give each page a file name for example we gave the page two products for ice cream so I'm assuming that this page would have products for ice cream on it so we would name it that so let's go to page three maybe you want to you know name this one but in this case you can't see a space to enter a name well you kinda have to estimate you know and draw like a horizontal line where the three is at all the way across and just left click once in that area and you'll get the box and we can name it maybe products for cookies maybe we're selling some cookies to go with the ice cream and you know this would be very helpful because sometimes when you're looking at thumbnails you're not able to identify what page you're on but if you read the file name that, that can give you insight to what kind of content that you have on the page especially pages that have a lot of text you may not be able to just look at it and say oh this page is about this or that you know and this is that's where this file name is very helpful and the file name is what you're going to see in your web browser URL and then don't worry if you don't understand that right now if you have questions about what I mean in reference to that you can always send me a a uh, a message on YouTube and I'll be able to help you understand that better and I can make a tutorial specifically for helping you understand that concept so now you know how to rearrange your document you know how to create new pages you know how to duplicate pages and you know how to change the file names you know the importance of not changing the the index because again that's for your home page never change that 
Now you can move it in a different order. You don't have to keep it in the first position. Do you want to mention that? So if you left click and drag this down and put it after the after that and make it the second page, it doesn't matter. So the order of your index page doesn't matter in the document. What matters is that you keep that name index. You should always have at least one file name name index and don't make a duplicate. Never have two pages with the name file name index because you'll get you'll get some errors and confusion on your your website and I don't think any of your clients will be happy that are visiting your website if they've got a hard time surfing it so again that covers everything in this tutorial if you have any questions send me a message on YouTube and if you like this video definitely subscribe and also make sure that you leave a comment if you if you have any questions for me and again thanks for viewing this tutorial Actually, I do want to show you one other thing. I did show you how to lock this. If you want to unlock this this panel here, just click that thumbtack thing again, and it'll remove it, and it'll go back to the original mode. So just want to show you that in case that annoys you if it's not flying in and out.